Hi, I'm Phil Trendle from the State Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestry. And this video is about the great work that has been going on out at Demorlands Lagoon through seed funding from the Queensland Wetlands Program. Demorlands Lagoon is located near Morani, west of Mackay in the Pioneer Valley. It is part of the Sandy Creek subcatchment. Here is a satellite image from 2012. Weeds like castor oil and lantana have spread into the reserve. The main wetland is also regularly covered in water hyacinth and only a few sections remain clear. This is similar to what was happening back in 2008. Mackay Regional Council helped to clean up the area and allow us to move around the site much easier. The Council, with funding from the Mackay Wet Sunday Isaac Pest Management Group, started to control a section of giant rat tail grass. They also started to tackle the paragraphs around the wetland to prepare a site for revegetation. Some late flooding caused a bit of delay but provided some extra mulch. Some final site preparations had the site ready to be planted. Species used included Melaleuca viridiflora, which does grow naturally around the wetland, and other species that can handle wet feet every year. There are also some dry sections where poplar gum and Morton Bay ash were planted. Tree guards and stakes were used to protect the young plants and highlight them when doing maintenance activities like spraying for weed control. There have been now over 800 locally grown native trees planted along the northern side of the wetland to provide habitat and shade. This includes Reef Captain's NRM group monitoring the water quality at both the entry and exit points on the wetland to see what benefits it provides in improving runoff. We also hope to make the site a regular stop during field trips. Mackay Regional Council has been busy controlling the water hyacinth as well. Tons of material have been removed and there is now some open water along the wetland. There was also a need to water the revegetation during a very dry spring and early summer. There have been some losses due to summer flooding, but the majority are now going strong. The council have also been controlling weeds throughout the revegetation area and keeping an eye out for any giant rat tail regrowth. 